is up team boosted welcome to another video uh, at this point the body of the car is painted we found that it was pretty difficult to try to film and explain things in here because we don't have a lot of space and it rained yesterday so we had the garage door closed and uh, there's just not enough room so the painting process is the same and we still have this pile of small parts to do so we're gonna go over exactly how we get the results that we did and I'm gonna walk over there and show you guys how it came out now No more red fender. But even without wet sanding or polishing, it is still almost mirror-like. Uh, there's just things that we are gonna have to buff out. So like some dirt fell in. I don't even know if you can see that, but some dirt fell in it right there. But it, if you just look at the the roof, it's, it's almost glass-like already. So we're gonna have to do very minimum buffing on this. And we're gonna show you guys how you can get a similar result with all these small parts up here. It's the same process, same technique. And we're gonna do that today. It's actually sunny, so we don't have to paint in the garage. Well, we are gonna paint in the garage, but we don't have to shut the door. On the ground because we use all the tables for all the parts. But uh, this primer is four to one to one, so that's four parts of this, one part of thinner, and one part of activator. So it would be four, and fill it up to the four unit on this. Wherever that is, I don't know. And if I only filled it to four, I'd add one, so it'd be five with this, and then one more, it would be six with the activator. That little guy right there. And, uh, but that's really not that much, so I'm gonna go eight, and that means I need two parts of this. Well, not two parts, but you know what I mean. So instead of four to one to one, it'd be eight to two to two, yeah. if that makes sense. So it would be eight, Just scale nine, the ratios. 10, 11, 12, yeah. yeah. And that's about a hopper's worth, and that should be enough to cover all these parts. Got our little gauntlet of parts. So if you get yourself actual painting mixing cups, they have the ratios directly on them. I'll show you guys how that works real quick. So like we said, we're doing a four to one to one. So it's got this column here. And depending on how much you want on your first one, four being the primary one, you choose a number on here. Let's say we want to do the five quantity. You do five, and then five, and then five. Or if you want to do three, you go three, three, three. It's just saying that this first column is four parts, the second column is one part, and the second column is also one part, and then they have all sorts of different ratios depending on what your, uh, what your spraying is asking for, but we're doing the four to one to one. Okay, so I got my mask off, and you should never have your mask off spraying this stuff, but I'm just gonna explain, uh, you know, the spraying technique that we use on the, the entire car, it doesn't matter what you're spraying, it's the same kind of techniques. So what Devin's gonna do is he's gonna get the most difficult areas first, which would be uh, you know, the, these ledges here. And if it was on the car, then it'd be like an archway or door sill. You wanna do those first, because everything else is gonna get good coverage with the next step, which is the overlap. So he's gonna go ahead and do that. Just take your time. Them to be not too far, not too close. I mean, you kind of get a feel for these things after you've sprayed enough stuff. And now, what he's going to do after he gets more edges. The compressor's on, so I'm just gonna tell you now, uh, just nice even strokes with a 50% overlap, and that's what we did with the whole car. so it doesn't get covered in overspray. The 
most important thing is to keep the gun moving at like a, a steady, even pace at a good distance from the piece that you're working on. You want it pretty wet, but not wet enough to run. Um, you know, there's things like your first coat should be a little bit lighter, but not a dusting. A lot of people say use a dusting, but we never do um, because we feel like uh, you get a lot more texture that way. So from the, from the gate, we go pretty heavy. That's how we've always sprayed things. It always works out. Um, a little bit lighter on the first one, but after that, you want the material to have nice coverage. Uh, you don't want a lot of texture and um, pretty much as much as you can get with that at running. And that's how we paint things. Everyone's got different techniques, but that's what works for us. After all your parts are done, you get about half an hour to clean your gun. Well, you don't gotta do anything in half an hour, but all of these parts are going to have, because it's primer, it's gonna have like an orange peel, and then you hit this with 400 grit. 400 is good enough. People say go higher. 400 is good enough. That's our opinion. And uh, we're gonna get all these really smooth, get rid of the orange peel at 400, and then it's time for the base coat which is exactly the same process. 50% overlap, hard parts first, in 10-15 um, minutes in between coats, two to three wet coats. And then uh, two to three wet coats of clear coat, and then you got 48 hours before you can cut and polish. And that's painting. Okay, so race against daylight. We'll probably have to finish this with the garage shut and the lights on, but... Uh, Everything's been sanded again. We didn't put that in the video because we hate sanding. But we're ready to actually uh, start laying on the coats. I'm just gonna film it's the same exact technique as before. Right now, Devin's making sure the gun has a good spray pattern, and it does. These guns are pretty good. It's a Harbor Freight gun, surprisingly. Don't get the purple one, get the silver one. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it. We've had this one for like four different paint jobs, and it's been great every time. Everything is now super shiny. Still a dent right there, but we want to do paintless on that because uh, we'd prefer to have the least amount of body fillers possible. So we got 48 hours before we can uh, before we can polish it. Like I said earlier, minimum polishing needed. It came out really good the first time. You could actually see the garage door reflection. No deviation in the reflection. Not much orange peel, if any. So we don't got to do much because we did it right the first time. Yeah, for once we had a pretty solid paint job. We got all the gaskets and stuff coming. Those should be here tomorrow. Uh, we're going on a little trip, so we won't be back until Thursday. But uh, we'll probably schedule to have the glass put back in around then. Get this thing back together. When we come back, we got some exciting stuff planned. We got to put the dots and back together. The Porsche is going to be back together. And then uh, we're meeting up with somebody who has an RWB, and we're excited for that. Yeah, Should be fun. Be sweet. Uh, so we're going to do a little cruising around. We got both cars to finish. We have a plan to get that registered and uh, taking a few days. We have a guest coming, so taking a few days off, but we'll be back with uh, tons of shit for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Yeah. Okay guys, it's gonna wrap this one up. Uh, if our end shot's a little weird, it's once again because there's a bunch of painted shit in our garage and we can't move the camera to put the good lens on and put lights up. So, hope you guys don't mind. Whatever. Um, Devin's gonna go ahead and pick a winner for this video's giveaway. I pretty much said everything that I need to say uh, in, in the section right before this. Um, yeah, that was a, a pretty good paint job considering that we spent probably just about $400 on it. Uh, that supplies, plastic, paint, everything, so. We're happy with it. It looks yeah. 5,000 times better than it did before, and um, which is good because it runs awesome, but it just kind of looked like shit, so. Yeah, they had that hood and deck lid issue, which was driving me crazy, as well as the red fender. Now that is all gone. Yeah, no more red fender. Maybe when we get a wrap, we'll do something with that. 
Probably not. Yes. Don't get your hat. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this video's winner is Casey Colby. All right, hit us up at teamboosted at boostedchase.com or through any of our social media platforms. We will get back to you and ship you your prize. If you guys are not familiar with the channel, we give away products from BoostedShades.com every single video. Um, that's also the best way to support us. So if you like what we're doing here, you can head on over to BoostedShades.com and see what we have. If you want to win, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. Um, comments don't have to be related to questions that we ask you guys at the end of the video, but you can feel free and answer those if you can't think of your own comment. What are you guys about to eat or have eaten for lunch today? That is this video's question. Feel free to leave that in the comment section. And you're eligible to win. <laughs> As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.